A very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger, blogger here. It's now 23 minutes past 5 in the afternoon, Friday, July 23rd, 2021. And this is part 3 of a 3 part bike tour, I think. If you did not watch part 2, Please click the link in the description box in the top right corner for part 2. There will be a playlist by the way for part 2, 1 and 3 in the description box. So if you stumbled onto this video, watch part 1 and 2. Currently on the Sportlaan. Well, nice bike ride, nice weather, and uh, traffic light just changed to green, which helps me enormously to continue straight away. Laan Corpus den Horn, let's have a look where I do have to go probably straight and then continue but actually I do not quite know Henry Dunal which way I'm going I'm thinking I'm going north again but could very well be mistaken but we will get home eventually we will get there boys Girls. Let's see. Do I see a street name sign which I recognize? Still Henry Dunalam. Well, that's sort of where I know where I am, but... <laughs> Definitely going north, by the way. Just past the Flemingstraat to my left. Pigeon move over. Pigeon move over. Let's have a look. Shopping mall here. In the distance, a yellow and blue building. Gas in Isabel. Which means I actually am on the Overwinningsplein. And when I turn right, I will be on the Patersvoldseweg. Let's wait for the people going from the left, the right of way. It'll be very slow. And I did not want it to stop, but I should have done. <laughs> it was way easier than the, how I did it now. Well, well, well. need to overtake speed of the woman in front of me is quite okay and there will be of course another traffic light so when I overtake I probably will 
via the traffic light and then the person I just overtook is going to end up right next to me waiting for the same light so well back on the normal bike lane little deviation due to the fact that the Zuidelijke Ringweg, the southern ring road is reconstructed I thought I would encounter a traffic light a little bit earlier, but I did not. Now the traffic light is on green, but it's changing to orange, so let's stop. Stop, 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 stop. Depending on how long it's going to take. who was in front of me and now next to me is still waiting playing with her phone and the traffic light is already on green look at the huge <laughs> balcony sticking out from the facade normally a balcony is the half the size but this is a very much bigger balcony Grunostraat this is all new used to be a housing complex which was built in the 1930s or maybe earlier torn down and this is what came in place for it there's probably a more financial issue to renovate the older houses and make them to this day's standards there was a bit of a like I said financial problem or maybe they weighed their options and decided it's cheaper to turn them to tear the buildings down and build something new Take a turn here. Kleine Badstraat. Bad means bath. And I think it was a swimming pool here back in the back in the day. Ooster Badstraat, Badhuisplein. And here arrived in the Marnixstraat. Been in the Marnixstraat before. And I told you Marnix was a Dutch boy's name. A first name, not a surname, but Now we ended up at the, I think it's called the Emma Single. Oh, there's something wrong. I wanted to go 
to the right but I drove on a little bit too too long so waiting on this strip here follow that bike rider just swiftly flew by of this small bridge there's a sluice complex by the way that was because it was bumpy and I felt it in my back on my bottom I mean Now I'm entering a more busy area of the city. Yeah. Let's try to avoid that and see when we go this way what will happen. Last time I went to the left, let's go straight now. Ganserfort single, if I saw that correctly. There's a car of that's parkeer controller, parking regulation and con checking, checking if you paid. And if you didn't pay, you will get fined. Car, 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 car. Go, 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 go again. Well, Centrum is out, which means I'm close to city center. And actually, Suider Diep is in front of me. Let's move over for the guy who wants to pass. Let's go this way, make a turn. people just riding on the tandem never done that never had a dream to do that looks scary Locked off for cars, except for bikes and mopeds, so let's go here, no issue. Typical Friday, people are dining outside, sitting outside on the terrace, and probably eating there and drinking something first. On, please wait for the people who wanted to cross the road. Totally not aware that there's traffic. Not probably you cross the road, but you should maybe watch around, uh, look around you. Spatial awareness. Also, somebody was not able to walk on the, the pedestrian crossing. Let's get a turn into the left here. This is a one-way street, so only traffic can go the same route or same direction as I'm going. I already saw the first bike rider going the wrong way. 
And normally you always meet one or two people who decide that it's a good idea to drive towards the direction where the city buses are coming from. Car behind me, let's move over. No, it's not a car, it's a scooter. <laughs> I had some tires noise and thought it was a car. How not so nice. Let's see. Well, it's incredibly busy here. Let's do you a little favor and go to the Martini Kerkhof. We'll stop there. Two things to end part three and start part four and also attach the battery pack because I'm thinking my battery will go flat. in due time then I'm talking and talking and then all of a sudden the battery is gone and I'm still talking oh that's not a good idea Bumpy man. Christ. Crying out loud. Okay. Camera still rolling, so let's stop here with a view of the Provincie House. A very old style building with a new attachment behind it. Well, see you in part four and subscribe, like, check out the description box. And like always, be safe out there.